North Carolina voters will have no problem figuring out where these two candidates stand on the pandemic. The governor makes an almost daily plea for social distancing and masks during his televised news conferences. The refusal to wear a mask is selfish. It infringes on the life and liberty of everyone else in the store. While the lieutenant governor downplays mask and social distancing during campaign stops where he meets in person with supporters like he did this past weekend in Lexington. I leave it up to personal responsibility. I think that's where it should lie. I think people should make choices for themselves. Dan Forrest says North Carolina needs to protect the vulnerable, which he describes as people living in nursing homes and those over 80 years of age, but says everyone else should be allowed to get back to their lives. He tells WXII 12 News that Governor Cooper is ignoring the fallout of his shutdown orders. I talk about a governor who doesn't even talk about suicide and suicide attempts and uh, opioid addiction and alcoholism and domestic abuse and domestic violence and, and people that have lost their jobs. Uh, if you don't talk about those things and you're ignoring them. Forrest has filed a lawsuit against the governor claiming his executive orders shutting down businesses violates the state constitution. You've been accused of playing politics with the health and safety of the people of the state of North mm -hmm. Carolina. What's your response to that? Oh, I'm doing just the opposite. The governor's playing politics uh, with the people of North Carolina by not giving them clear data and by not providing the information that they should be providing to get the state open. Dan Forrest says it is, quote, ludicrous that kids are not returning to school. He says education will be one of the deciding factors in the upcoming governor's race. In Greensboro, Bill O'Neill, WXII 12 News.